Welcome outside to Pets on 2. So excited to introduce you to Melissa today, who's representing Dorchester Paws, and she is a foster parent for years. You've been fostering dogs. So you've actually brought one that's in the home with you right now. This is Christmas. This is Christmas. He was brought in on Christmas Day to Dorchester Paws, even though he was rescued. So um, one of the volunteers, workers there, decided that that was the name that he needed to have. So. I love this it. Christmas. And you can give us a unique perspective because you have him in the home with you. So tell us more about what he is like. He is very energetic. He loves to play ball, loves going on walks. I do have a cat in the home and you know, they're not cuddly, but he's not chasing the cat. So they that's tolerate good, each other. So they do yeah. tolerate, yes, which is a good thing. Um, but uh, he loves to learn. He loves to do new tricks and things. And he also likes to just cuddle up on the couch yeah. or in bed with you, watch yeah. TV. So, and he, he loves his fruit and vegetables. Um, he's I just know, a very you used good. to work as a vet tech, so you're showing us some healthy snack options. Here's blueberries and green yeah, beans. Yeah. So he is a very health-oriented pup. And yeah. we just hope, you know, he's been in the shelter system for so long, we need to get him into a more secure yes. family. Yes, he's very good with children and with adults. Um, he's good with other animals. I say that, but we still are working with him with other dogs, okay. mostly male. Okay. And so... Preferably, we'd like a home for him that had um, no other dogs. Okay. Cats would be fine. Yeah. If they had a female, we would work with that and see if they were um, able to if socialize get and get along. Okay. So that would be, you know, something that each owner, each family would have to determine yeah, on their own. Case by case. Yes. Yes. So, Melissa, you told me that you've been a foster for so many years, many states, many organizations. I'm just curious, you know, for viewers that maybe want to take the leap into fostering, you can give us an interesting perspective on what it's like. It's a wonderful thing to do. Um, it's good if you have children in the family. It gets them interested in animals, gives them a different perspective. Um, and if you're not sure that you want to have a dog of your own, this is a good way for you to have a dog, but not necessarily mm -hmm. it's yours. Um, right. you, it's kind of like on loan, um, <laughs> but they take care of all your medical and your food. And um, so if you have like some issues or anything like that, they work with you with that. Yeah. Um, it's just a great way to help an animal because so many of these are being euthanized and that's a really big issue. And right now, most of the shelters are full. Yeah. So even if you can only come like for the day, walk a dog or for the weekend, we love for that to happen because that gets them out because it's a lot of stress on an animal to be inside a cage all day long. <laughs> well, Melissa, thank you so much for being here today. You're such a wonderful advocate for our pets, especially at Dorchester Paws here with Mr. Christmas, who is available looking for a new home yes. immediately. Yes. So we hope someone will check him out online and fill out an application. Yes. Melissa, thank you. Thank you. And if you're not interested in Christmas, we have plenty of other dogs. Something and we for have everyone, cats, right? <laughs> so there's someone there for you, yes. And we would appreciate it. Well, we're heading to break right now, but stay with us. We have more news to midday next.